I'm Ewan Murray, Head of PR and Events at the Wine Society and this is our press tasting at One Great George Street. Thanks. And today I just wanted to ask you about um, social media and Twitter in particular because I think Wine Society does it very well. You mentioned you have the most followers of any merchants. That's right. At the moment we've got over 18,000 followers, which is more than any other in the UK, we believe. And uh, we, as, as the Wine Society, we believe strongly in our members and in our sense of community. And Twitter is, uh, is somewhere where we can really uh, extend that community beyond the people who are members of the Wine Society also. And I noticed that you really interact and you don't just retweet their recommendations, you actually have conversations. Is That's that something right. yeah, you that chose to do? Yes, it is. I mean, we, we will retweet where we think it's worth retweeting. Some people will, will mention that we've retweeted too often, but believe you me, we don't retweet everything. Yeah. Um, and, uh, at other times, you know, people will come in with their, food, their own food and wine recommendations and we'll, we'll share those around. But similarly, people will ask us questions. There's another channel of communication from email or the phones or whatever, and people will ask us questions and where I can, uh, as I'm the, 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 uh, the guy who does the tweets for the Wine Society, where I can, I will answer directly. If yeah. not, get into a direct message situation so we can start talking and, 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 and uh, dealing with these people uh, uh, as individuals rather than as, as a mass media. And a lot yeah. of companies these days are tending to sort of tweet absolute inanities or tweet commercial messages yep. and that's for, for us we don't believe that's what Twitter's about. Well you just switch off don't you when you see them in your timeline. Is it something that you sat down and developed a strategy at the Wine Society or was it quite spontaneous? It started off as something spontaneous, let's try it and let's, let's put our foot in the water and that was about two and a half years ago and it's grown to what it is now. It's still, um, it's the, the, the strategy is, is developing, we are now developing a, a social media strategy on top of our digital strategy. You have strategy. Facebook? We do have Facebook, we have three or four thousand people who, who, who like us on, on Facebook. Different, different kind of, of media, still, still enabling the, the discussions to happen and the like, but uh, yeah. not, quite, not quite so real time. We also have a blog, the Society Grapevine, um, yeah. which, is, uh, which we're, we're, we're adding material to every week. Is that on your website? It's on our website, but it's also a, a separate blog, societygrapevine.com, yeah. so you can reach it. And uh, we, we, di we direct people to it via Twitter and via Facebook as well. But you, these are really quite impressive numbers. Have you got somebody doing it who's a sort of social media geek? Not really. I mean, well, I, I'm, well, I'm, I'm a, I, I do two other Twitter feeds for one in my private life and, and one for uh, an, another hobby hat that I've got on. Yeah. Um, so I, I do most of the tweeting. We have a, a, our digital copywriter does most of the Facebooking. Yeah. And he, he's heavily into that. He also blogs himself. Um, and so it's basically, if you like, two amateurs who are, who are moulding it into something yeah. more professional. And how do you measure the sort of return, if you like, on your time investment? If not well, capital investment, um, a, money investment. Yes, I mean that's a that's a trick, tricky thing to say, but of course it's it's a tw Twitter is a twenty four hour thing. Yeah. So we're not just sort of devo devoting certain periods during the day to it, but it, it's, we're doing it as and when. But it's very much a the society. We like to be very sort of touchy feely and hands yeah. on with our members, and I think this is this is part of it. So. Uh, the, the two of us are the only two people who are doing that in the business, so it's not as if everybody's having a go and there's lots of little bits of, of, of resource being used yeah. up here and there. So uh, we're quite focused in, in the way we deal Good. with it. And last question, what about potential negative stuff? That's always a risk. How do you it, deal with that? It is always a risk, but I think you know every now and again you might get somebody who's got to be in their bonnet about something or might take a complaint, but what you do is you, you, you deal with it in a polite way, online if you like, and you yeah. take it offline via direct messages and emails. And if you can deal with that matter there and then, then that person goes away a, a very satisfied. In fact, I've had people coming with a problem and then retweeted how fantastically the problem's been dealt right. with by the so. society. So it, you know, no PR is bad PR. Yeah. As long as you can handle it at the, at the opposite end, then that, that is yeah. very much true. An enlightened view. Well, thank you very much. Great wines as always. Thank, thank you. you.